Hello everyone, I'm Tim with Tomes and Tales. Thank you for joining me for another book review. Today, I am reviewing the science fiction classic, The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells. We start off in England during the late 19th century. An unnamed narrator recounts his and his brother's experiences during a time when intelligent beings from the planet Mars came to Earth and attacked humanity. Now, in my opinion, this novel contained a really good plot and solid themes. It's probably why it's regarded as such a classic today. I thought the dialogue was well done. The science and technical aspects were interesting, but they didn't overwhelm me either. But what really put this book over the top for me was how well the author conveyed emotion. I felt the existential dread, the worrying over missing loved ones, the desperate need to survive. Wells excelled at putting me into his character's headspace at any given moment. Like I always say, though, no book is perfect, and I would have liked to have more different p points of view in this, especially from the narrator's wife, of which we get no POV chapters whatsoever. It needed more character interactions, in my opinion, and it bothered me that most of the characters went nameless. Uh, he always wrote, my wife, or the soldier, instead of actually giving them names. It got a little tiresome after a while. Still, this is a great book. It came out around the same time as Bram Stoker's Dracula, which I will be doing a review for in the next month or two. And I thought The War of the Worlds was the superior book. Now, that's probably not fair to compare them, though. But it is how I felt. Wells did such a good job of putting me into his character's headspace, helping me feel what he imagined his characters felt. I went from feelings of curiosity to bewilderment to anger, then to terror and resignation. I will absolutely read this book again, and I encourage you to give it a chance too if you haven't already. Thank you again for joining me today. If you would like to help out the channel, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons. Or maybe check out my own novel, Baltimore City. You can find it listed on Amazon. Stay safe, everyone, and happy reading.